Good morning and hope you all have been well. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the help center quest for East Guerin City. And before I get started with this tutorial video, I do have a few things I'd like to say real quick, mainly just to clarify some stuff. As I said during the Let's Play, I kind of want to keep the help center quest videos its own separate entity. This is strictly just for the help center quest. I'm still going to title it as probably part 7 or part 8, just so the let's play doesn't get too confused, but just know that this is strictly for doing all of the help center quests um, for East Green City. I'm not going to continue on with story, anything like that, it's just for the help center. Uh, so yeah, if you're only one to watch this just to find information and not watch because of the let's play, uh, that's totally fine. Again, that's the point of this channel, is to help out players with rejuvenation. Uh, so yeah, I guess without any more delays, let us get started. Oh, I forgot about this. This is the uh, Zygarde cells. Um, I'm just going to skip through this. Um, I don't think anybody really cares. It's pretty much the guy that gets you started and wants you to find all the um, cells around the region. So yeah, I never really cared to do it, but maybe one day uh, we'll get into finding them all. Uh, anyway, save Starly. I'm just going to skip through this because I don't think most people really want me to read. Uh, so yeah, plus I don't want to take like super long, I guess, with these help center quest videos, but let's see what happens. Uh, pretty much this girl here um, is missing her Starly. I guess it got out or something and we pretty much got to go rescue it. Uh, so yeah. I guess let me know if you want me to read the text or not. I think most people with tutorials don't really care and just want it fast and simple, so I'll just briefly explain uh, what's going on. So anyways, these guys, they want the Starly to, I guess, sell it or whatever, and we're pretty much going to rescue it. Um, it seems I forgot to heal up. And it also seems I forgot to change the day... To, or the time to daytime because I want uh, daylight forms, uh, not midnight form. I'll probably do that after this battle. Oh, I forgot to say this real quick. Um, I would strongly advise you get through Venom's gym before going through the help, going through all the help center quests. Um, there is a battle at the end that is somewhat difficult if you are under leveled. Uh, so yeah. Okay, this part I'm gonna read. Most of the non-important characters I'm just going to skip through, but important characters I'm going to read. I should have said that earlier. My apologies. Uh, don't fly away, little dove. I'm not going to read that. A bird can no longer fly with clip wings. We can't have peasants like you running around. Do you think you'll just be able to, to do what you please? That's too bad for you at least. I'm not going to read that as well. That's rich. Look at what we have here, a couple of no good thugs trying to steal a poor pigeon. As punishment, you three shall be my faithful servants. You shall stay with me at the Elevore's ruins where you will learn to be proper men and servants. Any objections? Yeah, just one. Hey, would you just... I'll meet you back at the ruins, Charles. My name ain't Charles, it's Rick. Goodbye, Charles. You too, Daniel. And how could I forget about poor old Peter? I'll see you all at the ruins. It seems Starley's doing fine. The name's Karen. I'm... Actually, let's keep that a little secret for now. Just giving out all the info in the beginning is boring and deprives of mystery. Do you like my little stone creation? Magic is a beautiful thing. A beautiful thing humans tend to push away because they fear it. Have you ever heard of Garufa? The Garufa were an ancient tribe that roamed the world centuries ago. They harvested, they harvested, sorry, the Pokemon's power and sealed their souls along with their Pokemon's soul into a book, allowing them to enchant their power and cast magic parallel to their Pokemon's type. Look at me ramble, don't worry, it's funny. You don't suppose the driver of this ship survived this little uproot? They probably had a family, but who really cares about family anyways? I find stone much more lovely. Starly, you're free now. Return to your trainer. I'll clean up the mess I've created. You go on and finalize the request you started. 
I'm sure that girl will be thrilled to see that her beloved pigeon is safe from harm's way. Or you know, lose the pigeon again because they're because they're irresponsible. Whichever they see fit, I suppose. I don't suppose I've frightened you, have I? I'm not scary, just a little fierce. You're just a kid, I wouldn't do anything to harm a kid, unless they were a brat. Yeah, big bro moment. Alright, so pretty much you're gonna want to go all the way back to the kid, talk to her. She's thankful that you got her Starly back, and we're gonna go get the reward and continue on with the request. Talk to her, get the reward. Now, it's something I want to say real quick as well. Uh, sorry for the pause there. Um, I didn't really say it at the beginning, but I'll just say it now. I strongly suggest that you please do all the help center requests. I mean, it's just one of those things. Um, you know, I'm not going to grab that one because I may just look up where they all are and then do an episode in the future. Uh, anyways, I would strongly strongly suggest that you do these help center quests. I mean, it's a lot of free items, good experience, and a lot of it honestly does, you know, change the story and it does have somewhat of an impact on the story. And I believe by doing them all, it may have some sort of big change in the future, maybe. Might be wrong, but it's just kind of like free items. It kind of adds some changes to the story, so it's kind of like, you know, why not do it? So, uh, yeah, I believe the first building is the... Which one is it? Civil check. Uh, Aqua building, okay. Uh, should be fine. I think that's the bicycle shop. No, it's not. This is the right one. I believe, what, second floor or is it first floor? No, I'm right, second floor. So pretty much, uh, you're going to be trying to find the Mother Rosa. You're going to want to pretty much follow where I go. Talk to her, leave on out, and we'll continue on. Um, East Grand City, honestly, a lot of it is just running around. Uh, so yeah, I believe this next one is the Velvet Building. And I believe she said the third floor. Talk to, I believe, her? No, it's the one on the bottom, my mistake. So again, she doesn't know where Rosa is. Blah, blah, blah. We'll continue on. Again, sorry if uh, people get annoyed with me kind of skipping like that. It's just kind of like, if they're not really that important, I'll just skip on through it. I think people just want a simple, fast um, tutorial video. Again, if you do want me to actually read everything out loud and take my time with it, um, I don't have an issue with it. Uh, I guess just let me know. I believe talk to him or her. Go outside, talk to them. And then we're going to go all the way back to the salon. Go to the Ocean Pier. Alright, walk on in. Now this I'm going to read because it adds a slight hint to part of the story, so uh, yeah. Uh, Rosa, can you blade my hair? Well, of course, dear. That is why I'm here. Stop ignoring me. Oh, Sasha, how did you find me? Is that all you have to say for yourself? You've been missing for almost three days, mother. You didn't leave any note. You didn't tell me where you were going. You said that you had an appointment for the day and that'd be it. That I didn't skip, sorry. Uh, but I couldn't tell you where I was. Why? Why couldn't you tell me about this? Because if anyone found out I was giving haircuts to these children for free, they'd... Sasha, 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 there are some things you just don't understand until you're older. As you know, we are a business chain from Grand Dream City, and the mayor there is... Well, she's very adamant on how things are ran. I don't care about that. You will. You just don't understand. As if I don't even want to see you anymore. Sorry for wasting your time, Alon. It seems she didn't want to be found, but of course, I won't let you go without reward. It's at the Help Plaza. You can obtain it there. 
for a moment. And that is how you get through the uh, missing mother. Now for Eastern City, to be honest, it really is not that hard to get through. Uh, maybe if you're new to the game, I guess it can be somewhat annoying, but the first few uh, helps on request, it's just running around. I believe once we get to Sheridan Village is when things get um, a little more on the difficult side. From there on, it gets somewhat annoying. Uh, so yeah. Alright, so we're going to want to uh, go in here, talk to this guy here. Let's be here for my quest. And once you pretty much to find information on the uh, Garufa and find um, information on where, I guess, where um, one of the ruins is located, I think it is. Um, I believe there's two people we got to talk to or three. No, it's three. My mistake. The Hidden Library. Yes, I know of it. It's a library that was created by the ancient civilization in Avium, right? It was held in a secret underground location which should approximately be Girin. Alright, sorry for a pause. But here's the thing, I have access to a lot of underground tunnels in both sides of Girin. I have never came across anything that could be taken as a hidden library. Wherever this library is, it's an incredibly discreet location. Sorry, but that's all the information I have about the library. Next location is the hotel, or the Chrysalia Hotel, however you or however you uh, pronounce it. What do you want, a uh, little street rat? The hidden library. Hmm. Maybe you aren't much of a street rat as I may have presumed. Apologies, but ah uh, yes, the hidden library. What a fascinating history and mystery. The hidden library was located on the most southern part of Avium. This was so members of the Garufa civilization could easily access it using the sea and ports. If I remember correctly, the structure of the library was built to last, which means the library could have survived the survived the catastrophe that a that ailed this land decades decades ago. And the final one is the uh, school teacher at the park. Uh, I'm kind of reading it because. I kind of want to learn more about the Grufa and see if I missed anything. Uh, so you want to know about the Hidden Library? Well, I used to be a history teacher, so I may know a thing or two about the place. First off, the library was created for the sole purpose of preserving the knowledge held by the ancient civilization. However, measures were taken to ensure that only people of this civilization could open the doors. This means that even if we found the library, it would be impossible to open. That is, of course, assuming that we don't have a descendant in our midst. Bruh moment. Alright, so we're going to go back to the one guy in the uh, lab. And we're going to give him the answers that we got. Uh, the library is intact. Um, it's closed off and gear and tunnels and there you go and plus at the same time about the whole reading thing i'm gonna safely assume you could just read it in your own time uh so yeah oops great balls there we go love letter I have a letter to deliver for someone I love, but I can't do it myself. Could you do it for me? Uh, real quick, just ahead of time, um, let's see if we can get rid of the rain. There we go. Um, you're going to want to buy a fire potion over here. I'm just going to do it ahead of time. Uh, so yeah, or sorry, a, a burn heal. What did I say, a fire potion? I'm thinking of Minecraft, sorry. I'll say, what is it? Uh, me and a few uh, internet friends started a, uh, a server, so yeah. Um, oh, are you the ones who accepted my help request? The name's Eric, and I need your help if that's alright. What am I saying? You answered the help request, which means you're here to help. I have a love letter that I wanted to send to someone I like, but I don't really have the strength to do it myself. Love letters are so romantic and classic, it can't possibly fail, right? Anyway, I was going to describe the recipient... I think I said that right. 
Got a thing I'd rather show you. Come take a look. Oof, sorry about that. You're not quite positioned correctly. Let me just adjust it a little bit. And... Oh, that's him. That's Cameron. That's the person I want, to, want you to deliver this letter to. Huh? Did he walk away from the shopkeeper... Keeper? Hip, empty-handed? Sorry. I think I have an idea. It seems like Cameron left the place empty-handed, right? What if I bought him something from the medicine store in addition to this letter? If I recall correctly, I heard he was battling, battling a trainer that used a lot of fire types. Perhaps he was looking for something to help deal with that. Okay, so here's the letter. Make sure you buy him the appropriate item too, please. I just realized something. I kind of just read through all that. Sorry about that. Honestly, like, even though I say I want to skip it, I'm going to find myself skipping it and also reading, so. I just can't really help myself sometimes. I just like reading. Alright, actually, give me one sec again. I'm going to save and pause for a moment. Alright, sorry about that. I was just changing the time to uh, daytime. Huh, is this something you need from me? A love letter? That's kind of Eric? Is that how you spell archaic? I'm assuming that means like old or something. Uh, but the effort is there, I guess. He included this burn heel with it. How did he know I needed this? That was actually very thoughtful of this Eric guy. I see him around these parts a few times and I thought he was kind of cute too. Alright, fine. Tell Eric I said that I'll go out with him. Thanks for delivering this for me. Brahma. Bra moment, sorry. Um, I'm going to pause and meet you back at the uh, one place. Alright, here we are. You're back, what happened? He said, yes, really? This is amazing. I didn't really think that love letter would actually work so well. This is all thanks to you, you know. I wouldn't have been able to do this with, with, by myself, sorry. Uh, but I guess I need to learn how to be stronger. Otherwise, I'll just be relying on others for everything. And that's just uh, your help. Consider this task done. Nice. All right, uh, gonna walk all the way back there. Also, the reason I turned today, I think I said it earlier, since I'm a broken record and very repetitive. Um, I'm wanting to evolve my Lycan Rock to Daylight form. I don't want Midnight form on uh, them, so yeah. If you are watching the Let's Play, then you understand. If not, then that's why. X1, a uh, dangerous Pokemon. Alright, so we're gonna go to the Ocean Pier. Before that, I, did I already heal? No, I did not. I'm gonna go heal real quick then. Oops, do that real quick. And then we'll add on down there. I forgot about this. Oh no, I've dropped a special item that evolves Pokemon prematurely, conveniently, in the path of those Litleo. God, bro. I don't think there actually is an item that like randomly does that. I mean, maybe like a Firestone or something, but like, I don't think Litleo needs a Firestone. <laughs> I'm more than certain it doesn't. Might be wrong though. Alright. Um, I'm fine with that. I may just pause. Um, I guess we don't really need to pause. We're fine. Actually, you know, yeah, we'll pause. For a moment. Stellar Rock, we're gonna get rid of Howl. Nah, I won't give it a name. I never really use Lily on his Let's Play anyways, or in a playthrough. Hi. I love it how you can also like talk to her as well. So, how was your day? And that's pretty much all she says. It's pretty funny. Alright, I guess we'll uh, continue on. And I believe there is one more, and I believe that is uh, Battle Me. Um, 
I don't think I said at the beginning, if I didn't, I would suggest that you at least get to a point that you've at least, um, I feel like I said that weird. Um, I would not do any of the help center quests until you've kind of beaten Venom and have around like level maybe 16 to 20s. I would prefer like around that 18, 20 range, but I guess the lowest, maybe 16 to 20. Um, I guess it's up to you, but overall, just don't be under level. Uh, so yeah. Being under level just... It just makes you struggle through the game more and it's not fun. So yeah. Uh, battle me again, you're gonna wanna go to the hotel. Do the uh, battle room. And I'm gonna swap Pokemon. I'm going to... I don't remember what her first Pokemon was, so I'm gonna just go with Hershey. Maybe not. Let's go with Combuskin, actually. Oh, are you the one who accepted my request? Thank you so much for doing this, it means a lot to me. My name is Nove. I believe it's Nova Nove. Um, I'm just gonna say Nove. Um, I'm a wandering trainer trying to find her worth in the world. So basically I'm nothing special. What's your name? I see. So your name is Alon. What a wonderful name that is. Shall we get started? Good luck to you Alon. May the star shine upon us today. For a moment. Okay, two cannon. Um, I'm just gonna flame charge. I think I outspeed, so I should be fine. I don't think that, that crit didn't matter. Rock rough, I'm gonna stay in. We should just go co. Yep. Normally I would skip, but with... I don't know if you count this as a boss battle, but I'm going to just in case. So yeah, um, I'm gonna swap into Bork actually. I'm just gonna bite. I'm fine with this. And then I'm just gonna switch train. Oh, because of Sand Doom, I'm dumb. Never mind. I guess we can get Combusk in some levels, so that's fine with me. The Simeon, I'm gonna swap into Hershey. Oh, you know what I just realized? I didn't even name my starter. I, I always name him Sanders. That's why I'm like... I couldn't figure out like what I was missing with this game. I need to go to the name changer actually after this. Well, I'll probably do it like off cam, but yeah, that's what I forgot. Um, I'm just going to confusion, just do some damage. Uh, going to, uh, not sheriff, uh, combustion. Do that. Steeny, I'm staying in. And there you go. And, and that's what I'm saying before. Like, if you are watching a Let's Play, this is exactly why, I like, I really hope you at least follow the steps that I've done step by step. If not, that's fine. But, like, please don't be under leveled. Like, if you were around, like, maybe, like, 13, 14, this battle would be much more difficult. So, please have decent levels. Please. Uh, so, yeah. Well, you sure are strong, Alon. I feel like I read that weird, sorry. Uh, that was actually my first real battle with an actual trainer. I practice mostly on wild Pokemon, so I freeze up whenever I try to battle actual people. I'll get better as time goes on, so I'm not too worried about things. Thank you so much for, for battling me, Alon. I hope we will meet again soon. For a moment. No, not the pool. 
Oh, lobby. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to go to the help center. And we are going to get our final reward. And that is it. Um, if you wish to leave now, that's fine. But uh, I'm going to get the reward real quick. Six hundred and a Pichu. See, like, I mean, again, like, if anyone's even here to the end, like, you get a Litleo, you get a Pichu, you get money, you get items, like, why not do it? And like I said before, the more you do, uh, the more Hub Center quests you do in the future, like, it does somewhat have not a big impact on the story, but it does change some stuff with the story, or at least, like, the text and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, I would strongly suggest you do it. Please do it. But again, if you wish not to, it is your choice, not mine. And if you aren't going to do it and you are watching this video, then I don't know why you're watching this. Unless it's just because you're watching a Let's Play and all. Um, that could be a reason. Um, so yeah. Anyways, that's it for the Help Center request. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely do appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Good morning.